Kimba, how's it going? Christian Winfield, New York Daily News. Uh, just given the road it took for you to get to this point in your career, uh, what did it mean for you to go out there and have the game that you had tonight? Um, I mean, it was fun. You know, we just wanted to be competitive. That's all we spoke about in our huddles. Um, but yeah, I'm, I, it, it's always a blessing and an honor to get here. You know, I've come a long way in my career. You know, um, it's my fourth All Star, so you know, I'm, I'm blessed. And yeah, it's always an exciting time to get a chance to be a part. Can you uh, talk us through the behind the back to Embiid? We went with the windmill. Did you think that's what, that was what he was going to do out there? <clears throat> I had no idea. I mean, I just wanted to, he was open. I just wanted to give him the ball, and he made a spectacular play. Mark on the far right, third row. Mark Spears, ESPN's undefeated. Giannis, uh, I want to ask you about yesterday being on the same stage with uh, President Obama. What did you get from that uh, experience, and, and what was the biggest thing you learned? It was a, it was a great experience. Um, obviously, I was extremely nervous. It was the second time meeting uh, Barack Obama. Had um, guys on the stage. Um, Chris Paul was there with me. Kevin Love was there. You know, we just there to like share our stories, what we've done for the community, uh, what we are about to do to the community, for the community. And um, personally, I was just there to learn. You know, obviously, Chris Paul has been in the league for 15, 16 years. Kevin Love, the same. I was there to learn from them. And um, what I've heard, you know, because I'm a private guy, I don't like sharing a lot of um, what I do, um, how I spend my time. But what, what I learned from him is that, you know, in order for you to change people's life and make it change and hope that other people can change and, you know, follow the right path. You got to be able to be more public. So that's what he told me. And uh, then we had the conversation. He gave me a lot of advice about my uh, my son. Uh, but it was it was a great experience. It was great being next to Barack Obama. And uh, obviously, Kevin Love and uh, Chris Paul also. <clears throat> Right here? Shira. Yeah, Sherrod Blakely, NBC Sports Boston. Uh, this All-Star game played with a very different format than what we've seen in the past. And just want to get your general thoughts, both of you, on this format. And would you like to see this type of format going forward? On your left. Right yeah, here, on your, on your left. left. Um, yeah, I, I thought it was cool. I had no idea. Coming into the game, I didn't know what to expect. But, I mean, as we played, it was great. That's what everybody wanted to see. Everybody wanted to see a competitive game. And... That's what it was in the fourth, so hopefully we keep it going. Uh, uh, should I ask you too? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So after the game, uh, my brother came down and he said, this has been the most fun all-star that he's been a part of. And I asked him why. He told me because you guys were really competitive. You guys were playing to win. And, um, you know, Team Giannis, um, that's what we were trying to do. We were trying to come out, set the tone, play hard. And especially in the fourth quarter, you know, the defense got tighter. Guys were here, one another, every position count. Uh, it was kind of, he had a little bit of playoff intensity out there, so I kind of, I loved it. You know, I hope they can keep the same format for a lot of years. And um, I think people had fun, we had fun, so that's what it's all about. Michael here on the left side on the aisle. Michael Lee with The Athletic over here. Uh, Giannis, over here to your left. Um, why was it important for you to have your brothers, um, Pascal Siakam and Joel and B on this team and, you know, picking them as, at, at, given your African heritage. And what was it like to share the floor with them and what message do you think it sends to the world about the talent from that continent? Obviously, it meant a lot to me. Obviously, they're from Africa. Um, Bama Debayo also, but I don't know if he claims uh, his African side. You know, he said he's half African, but okay. Um, but, you know, it's, it's really important. Obviously, you know, Africans are really hard, hard-working people. Uh, I've played with uh, Joel in the past. I love playing with him. Uh, and uh, Siak, I've never had the chance to play with, so that's why I picked him. And uh, obviously, he can send a message that, you know, Africans unite and uh, we have, one, uh, you know, one another's back. Mark, all over the backs. Kemba, Mark, if you go Celtics.com, uh, right here in the back. Just curious, you and Jason had talked for two weeks about potentially matching up for a possession during this game. What was it like when that actually happened? And what did you say to him after you got a stop? I locked him up. I got told him. Um, but it was cool, man. You know, that's, that's my little brother. You know, he's been having a hell of a season. He deserves to be here. Um, and it was cool for me to you know, get a chance to go up to him. So you know, I'm super proud of him. And it was, a, it was a great moment for both of us. Yeah. Left side over here in the back. Eric, name the athletic. Uh, 
Giannis, for you to, to close out that game defensively, you got to switch on to a lot of guys, make a lot of plays that way, but then offensively you weren't getting the ball. Can you just kind of take me through the last couple of minutes on both sides of the ball? No, obviously, defensively, I got a little bit out of breath. Uh, we played for like 25 minutes in the fourth quarter. Um, well, yeah, they were, they were trying to like make the, um, the small guys switch on LeBron uh, because they knew that we were switching. Um, you know, Coach Nick Nurse told me to like send him towards the middle so he cannot not go to the screen. So that's what I tried to do. Uh, first, we were just trying to, you know, find whoever, um, you know, James Harden was guarding. You know, that's who we thought uh, we were going to have the opportunity to score on. And obviously, you cannot, you cannot go wrong. You know, Kemba, Kyle, JL, me, Siakam, everybody's great players. You know, whoever has the ball, he's going to make a play for, uh, you know, the guy next to him. And uh, it's going to be good because. You know, we, we all have great players. Towards the back on the right side on the aisle. Hey, guys. Kayla Gray, TSN. Um, if you're comfortable sharing, LeBron James had said that you can kind of feel Kobe's presence here um, through all the pregame and the ceremony as well. What did this day and game see, feel like for you, and especially with that type of compete that you would see in Kobe Bryant? Um, I, I, I agree with him. That was... I, I definitely agree. We definitely felt his presence. Um, you know, growing up watching Kobe in those games, I felt like he was always competitive. Um, and he was kind of the one who got the game going. And um, I think we we kept that going tonight. I think he, 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 he definitely would have loved to watch the way we went out there and competed tonight. You know, over the years, the All-Star game has been a game where, you know, it just hasn't been as competitive as, you know, probably the fans would like. Um, but tonight, it definitely was, and we got to keep that going. Standing over here on the left. Stephen Watson from WISN. Giannis, this is for you. How proud are you of the way that Milwaukee was represented this weekend, knowing that just a few years ago you guys won 15 games? I'm really proud of Chris, Pat, um, Dango. Uh, I think uh, we did a great job just representing uh, Milwaukee. Um, you know, our families also. Um, man, you know, a few years ago we, we won 15 games and now we won the best teams in the league, so we just got to keep going. Um, we just got to put our head down, stay humble, and, uh, you know, just keep going. You know, obviously we enjoy this journey, uh, but we got a long way to go. Standing in the back row on the left. Uh, Max Bonstetter, Sports Illustrated. Giannis, a few years ago, Kobe challenged you to win an MVP. You went and did it. Now you're an all-star game, uh, all-star game team captain. How will you continue to carry on his legacy? I'm just trying to do what I've been doing since day one, which is get better, um, be humble, you know, help my teammates, be great. Um, but at the end of the day, I think the most important thing is get better. You know, and uh, whenever I have a chance to go out there, I just play with the edge. Um, that's pretty much it. You know, when you do that, I think everything take care, take care of itself. Last two questions in the back row on the right side. Hey, Kemba, John Corrales, Mass Live. Uh, you played what essentially was an entire fourth quarter uh, at the end there. Is, is that something that you expected coming into a game like this? And, and what was it like in, in that moment? No, I wasn't expecting it at all. I was actually supposed to be in a minute restriction, but uh, the game got too close, and you know, I wanted to be out there. I wanted to compete. Um, you know, I knew down the stretch that it would get serious like that, and I wanted to be a part of it. So, yeah, it was cool. Giannis, Again, last back. question, back row. Speedy Mormon from Complex. Giannis, yesterday you said that uh, the dunk contest last night was the best dunk contest you had ever seen. Uh, you had been in the dunk contest dunk contest once before. I'm wondering if you would ever entertain the idea of returning to the dunk contest. No. <laughs> no. Uh, there's no way I can uh, compete with the guys that uh, was in the dunk contest yesterday. No way. But you know why I said that? I think because every dunk we saw, somebody was jumping over uh, a person. And every dunk, it was the first time we've seen a dunk like that. Like, you, we can go through every dunk They've never been a dunk, you know, like the dunks we saw yesterday in the previous years. And it was kind of crazy because, like, you know, what I realized that even uh, Pat uh, jumped over uh, Christian Yelitz and he took a 45. In the past years, if you jump over somebody, you take a 50. 
you know, that's what it was. Um, but I had fun. I think everybody had fun. Um, but, yeah, hopefully, you know, the down cut is going moving forward. It can be uh, as fun as the one last night. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank this you. concludes the session in here for tonight. Safe travels, everyone. Have a good one.